Hey everyone, it's Saoirse. I apologize for being away for a few weeks. I've been reading a lot, but I, I got a mean comment and things have been hard otherwise and, and I just... The longer I spend not making videos, the more the thoughts keep going in my head like, who cares what I have to say about anything? Um, maybe I am as stupid as everyone says. And then like filming a video feels like a Herculean task. So. I want to break that streak and come back and talk to you because I do miss it. Alright, so today I want to talk about a book that is a unique kind of book because it's not a narrative. Um, it's a book of lyrics and this is The Work by Scott Hutchison of Frightened Rabbit. This is a beautiful book and I pre-ordered it many many months ago and I knew it would take forever and it did but it finally arrived last month and it is so lovely and emotional and just great to to have all of um, Scott's Fright and Rabbit songs in one place where we can look at them and cry and feel things and all that stuff. Um, if you don't know, Frightened Rabbit is a Scottish band and um, their lead singer, songwriter, Scott, passed away in 2018. Um, so I will just tell you my little Frightened Rabbit story, how I know who they are, what I love about them. Um, so let's start from the beginning. I was going to a Death Cab for Cutie concert in 2011 in Georgia and I'd driven up there because at the time Death Cab was my favorite band and this was my first time seeing them and I was stoked out of my mind. I think I was 17. Um, so I get to this concert in Georgia, and the opening band is Frightened Rabbit. And oh, I've got one of my Frightened Rabbit shirts on. So this band starts up, and I usually, I'm like, not that excited about opening bands. But they blew me away. And most of the songs they played were from their EP, um, which includes Scottish Wind and The Work. And... I, I was just enthralled by this person's voice, the drummer's facial expressions, um, just the fun they seemed to be having. The songs were ridiculously catchy um, and heartfelt, and the more that you dig into the lyrics, the more you appreciate it, because um, it can be hard for some people to understand uh, Scottish accents, and what I love about Scott is he always sang with his thick Scottish accent. Didn't tone it down at all. Um, so anyway, after the... I must have been between the opening band and when, when Death Cab came out, um, Fright and Rabbit was just hanging out and I got to meet them. And so I'll show you. There's me and Scott. And in my little um, homemade death cab shirt. So I just met everyone in the band. And this was so fun. And it, it was great because this was the first time I ever heard of them. The first time I had been interested in their music. And so there were no like stakes involved in meeting them. You know, I wasn't nervous really. If it had been years after that, oh, I would have been losing it with nerves. Um, but it was the first time, so I was like, oh, this is cool, just meet the opening band. Um, so, that happened. I became super into them, bought all their music. Um, they quickly became my favorite band. And I saw them again in, I think it was 2013, in Orlando. <clears throat> Orlando. And this was their own concert this time. They weren't opening. 
and it was wonderful. So crazy to see them in Florida. And then a few years passed, I was um, sort of living in the UK in 2016 and um, staying with my cousin and she was telling me there's this music festival, Latitude Music Festival. Um, this is in Suffolk. And I was like, cool, I'll, I'll look up the the bands. I've never been to a music festival before. And who is playing on the Saturday but Frightened Rabbit? I must have screamed. I mean, I couldn't believe. Like, I, I'm all the way here in England and there's this music festival like down the street and I'm gonna get to see my favorite band? Are you kidding? And they weren't even like headlining. I think The National was headlining. And at that time I didn't really know who they were so I kind of missed out on, on seeing them. But I was there right at the front ready for Frightened Rabbit's set in their little tent. And it was transcendent and wonderful. Um, this photo is from that show. Scott was amazing. And I, um, I also got a pick. I don't know where it is right now. I probably put it somewhere for safekeeping and have to find where that is. But I, um, I managed by like having no pride or anything to beg somebody who was working with them, um, for a set list and I got one and I finally framed it. So this is everything they played at the last show. My ring light says no. Um, the last show that I saw them play. And it's got like, might be Scott's footprint on it, I'm not sure. Um, but it means a lot to me so I love having this hanging up near my piano. Um, so yes, that was amazing. Then, um, then I wish I had gone to see, um, their tour that they did for, um, their first album, or not their first album. It was a 10 year anniversary of the Midnight Organ Fight, I think, and it was, they weren't coming to Florida and I, I don't know what I was doing at the time, but I didn't get to go and I really wish I had. Um, because then in 2018, Scott passed away and I was on the Appalachian Trail at the time I was through hiking somewhere in, I don't know, Virginia maybe. Um, and I found out that he was missing and, and like spent the whole day in a days um and then it was confirmed that that he'd passed and i just sat on a rock and cried and then for days i was just walking through the forest crying listening to their music and people would pass me like other hikers and i'd be like oh <laughs> hey <laughs> but it was really painful really really painful and it's like I know that anybody who's a music fan will understand when you connect so much with somebody's lyrics you feel like you know them. I mean, you don't really know them, but you feel like they know you in a way. Um, and Frightened Rabbit's album, Painting of a Panic Attack, was one that I listened to over and over when it came out um, in 2016 after I'd been fired from my dream job and I was wandering around Europe like, what am I doing? I would listen to that album. And I can just picture it so clearly. I love when you can associate music with a specific time and place. Um, and I just see myself walking down the streets of Southwold and going to the beach and standing on the pier and, and thinking maybe things are possible. I don't know. Um, so now's the time I should probably say, if, you, if you're struggling at all, I've said this before, um, suicidal thoughts, please, please, please get help. Um, there, there is help available. Uh, I am taking my meds. I've been on an antidepressant, anti-anxiety medication for a few weeks now, maybe a month. I'm already feeling like when I 
usually would be really low, I'm not as low. I'm able to cope with it better. I'm still in therapy once a week. Please do whatever you need to do to take care of yourself. And I understand it's harder for some people than others and everybody's situation is different. I just wish we hadn't lost Scott, you know? And I don't want to lose anyone else. Um, so I'll show you a couple more things. I got this scarf, which is, um, it's this, like, tartan that's based on their album's, um, colors, and they, like, had this created, and one of their songs is Keep Yourself Warm, and I think it's so cute that that's on the scarf. And this is something that, um, I, like, I used while I was in Scotland. Now that I live in Florida again, I think I got to use it once, um, because Florida's just not a, a scarf weather place, you know. Um, and then, oh, I forgot to say, I, um, I moved to Scotland in 2019, and I was not far from, you know, where Frightened Rabbit had originated, um, and this organization called Tiny Changes started, which is a line from one of the songs, and it's a mental health organization, and they were doing things like, well, I was living over there and it was really cool to just be to feel kind of connected and I went to um, Glasgow and I found this memorial bench that they have for Scott and that made me very emotional it was just it was sad in a way to be you know in the the homeland of my favorite band but it wasn't you know Scott wasn't there anymore and he wasn't gonna make any more music um, but anyway, I got this shirt, this Tiny Changes shirt, which I absolutely love. It's like a, I guess, I mean, I'm not a sports person, like a football jersey, um, football meaning soccer. But I think it's very cool. Yeah, just something special. So, why don't we look at the book finally, now that it's been like 12 minutes. I have a lot to say, um, and it's hard to articulate it, you know, it's a tough, it's a tough subject when it's your favorite band and, um, there will never be another album, and it's for a very sad reason. You know, Scott meant a lot of things to a lot of people, and, yeah, if you've, if you've never listened to their music, what are you doing? You need to. Um, I do wish that his solo album, um, he had this other name, Owl John, and he had this solo album, and it was, it's so good. I wish that those lyrics were in here too, but this is just Frightened Rabbit's music. Um, so I was kind of looking for those, and I was like, oh, wait, right, right, that's not in here. So, I'll show you some of my, some of my favorite songs, and like the pages that they're on. So we've got The Greys. And this is how it is, it's just like a typewriter font. Um, pretty simple layout and it has a lot of art, Scott's art, and um, each album is separated so it's in chronological order um, and it shows you the album you're about to see the songs from. Let's see, so from... There's so many, like, choosing favorites is so hard, but from the Midnight Organ Fight, uh, I really like Poke, and in some of them you get these original lyrics, like when he's working through it with his handwriting, which is very cool. Um, I also love Floating in the Fourth. I, you know, it's very depressing now, I mean, a lot of these songs deal with suicide, um, and hey, you know, that's why some of us relate to them. And it was, yeah, it was hard reading some of these now, knowing what happened, but it's just, it's incredible all of this expression that he put into his music and 
there's so much pain and there's so much beauty. And he shared that with all of us and we're very lucky. Um, this is from The Winter of Mixed Drinks. Uh, Living in Color, this is one of my favorite songs. This is one that I listen to when I'm feeling more upbeat. You know, it's not all, it's not all sad. But some songs, interestingly, um, there are many songs where I, for years, didn't really know the lyrics because I couldn't understand what he was saying. And then reading this, you, you might think like some of these songs are so upbeat, like the, the actual music is very happy. The lyrics are not. And that juxtaposition is so genius and heartbreaking. Um, so this is the one, this is like the first song that I heard them play. Um, or it was, it was in that set when they played with Death Cab, Scottish Winds, and this one, this one sold me on them. I was like, I've got to hear more. I'm so, like, just the opening notes, it was so catchy. Um, yeah. And then Living in Scotland, I'm sure I listened to that song many times. And then from Pedestrian Verse, I love this album. They're all so good. It's just, as with any band, it's cool to hear their their sound evolve over time. Um, so here's some of the art, and this is Nitrous Gas. I like this song a lot. And then another one from that album is the oil slick and this one has that fantastic line that i come back to a lot there is light but there's a tunnel to crawl through there is love but it's misery loves you there's still hope so i think we'll be fine in these disastrous times i love the idea of that that there is hope there is light We've got to get through this tunnel. And, you know, there is love in the world, even though it seems like the only thing that you attract is misery, and misery is so fascinated with you and always wants to hang out with you. Um, it's not the only thing that exists. Um, and then Painting of a Panic Attack. Oh, I just love this album. There's some art. And, I mean, they're all my favorite songs, but I really love Death Dream, just when I'm feeling melancholy, and Get Out is wonderful, and you might have heard that one because that actually I've heard played on the radio a lot. And then one of my favorites comes from... It comes from Recorded Songs, I think this is an EP, I don't know music lingo, um, Roadless, I adore this song. And I listened to this one many times while I was through hiking. You know the lyrics, I will go wherever I can, roadless as I am, roadless soul. I got lost just hanging around in a blur of the days and weeks and months, took the calendar down and watched everyone going somewhere while I waited to be found, so on and so forth. I just, I, I love it so much. Um, yes, so, highly recommend. And there's also a really nice introduction by the band. I'll look forward. So if you like the music of Frightened Rabbit, if it has touched you in any way, definitely recommend this book. It's just a nice thing to add to your collection and and also it helps if you never knew the lyrics to these songs that you that you like. It's funny, it's almost like when you listen to music where they're singing in another language and you kind of sing along but you're just going like because you don't really know what the words are. Sometimes I would do that like just try and keep the tempo, but I, there were certain words where I was very unsure because he's, Scott's music is so poetic and he uses language in such a way 
that like, you've just not heard it used that way before. Um, the the metaphors, the things that he comes up with, these phrases that are just, it's just poetry and it's stunning and unexpected and different and everything he wrote is a treasure and yeah, we're just very lucky to exist in a world that has that music um, and I wish Scott was still here. So thank you so much for watching and go listen to some Frightened Rabbit music. I will see you all next time and try to be a little bit more on schedule, but let's not, let's not pressure me, okay? Nobody's pressuring me. Literally nobody said, where are you? You've been gone for three weeks. So that's good. Um, Y'all just had faith in me that I would come back, and I have, so thank you. I'll see you next time.